G'day, I'm Mrs. Dow, and welcome to Mrs. Dow's Art Room. Here's today's lesson. We're going to make Olympic torches. Here's one I've created earlier. The torch is made with tissue paper as the flames, a cardboard tube, a paper cup, and it's all covered in awesome silver paper. These are the things we're going to need. First, we cut a piece of silver paper that'll fit around our cardboard tube. So I'm just wrapping it up loosely and drawing a bit of a wobbly line so I can cut along it and cover my tube. Now I have a smaller piece of silver paper to work with. I want to make sure it's not too long as well. So I want a little piece hanging over the end of each of the ends of my tube. So I'm drawing another guideline and just snipping off the end. Next you'll need a glue stick. You're going to cover the back of your silver paper in glue over the whole piece. This will make sure that it sticks really well to our cardboard tube. Now we place the tube on the edge of our paper, making sure there's a little piece of paper hanging out each end. As we roll, we're going to rub the paper down so the glue that we put on sticks to our tube. Smooth down all the edges and make sure it's stuck well. Then we're going to poke the extra bits of paper into the end of our tube to seal that up properly. Make sure you do both ends, press it in, and pinch around the edges to stick it really well. Okay, now it's time to repeat the same process with our paper cup. We have a small piece of silver paper. We're going to roll our cup up the same way we did with our tube. So we need to glue the back of our silver paper, covering the whole piece in glue very carefully. And then once the whole piece is covered, we can start to roll our cup up leaving a little bit hanging at the top and the bottom. There's my cheeky cat Marigold trying to stick herself to my cup. She likes to make appearances in my videos here, checking out what we're doing. Okay, once we've smoothed that out, it will have a few creases, that's okay. We're going to tuck all the extra paper in the bottom and fold all the extra paper inside the cup at the top as well. Press it all down and make sure it's nice and smooth. If you have any extra pieces like me that haven't been stuck down, just make sure you add a little bit of glue to those and press them down really well. We only need to put our glue stick up a little bit at a time so that we don't make big lumps of glue all over our artwork. Now I decided I had a bit too much paper at the bottom of my cup, so I'm just trimming it off without cutting my cup. It doesn't have to be too neat because we can still hide it underneath that little lip that's hanging out. The next step is to make a hole in the bottom so we might need a pencil. Poke your pencil in the middle of the bottom of your cup until you've got a hole. And then you can push your fingers down and just break the cup a little bit to make it easier. Get a pair of scissors and cut a few lines from the centre to the edge of the cup. It kind of looks like a star here. The reason we're doing this is because we need to push our cup over the end of our cardboard tube. So the more cuts you make, the easier it's going to be to push our cup over the edge. Now, decide which end is going to be the top slide your cup over and push it in until it's poking through the bottom of your cup a little bit. Good, now we're ready to add our tissue paper flames. We should have some yellow, orange and red so that we can make a gradient of flames inside our cup. I'm going to cut these into rough triangle shapes and then put them all together at the end. So as you can see, I'm cutting on a bit of an angle so it's skinnier at the top and bigger at the bottom. I'm going to put all the 
big pieces together and all of the top skinny pieces together. So yellow goes first. And these don't have to be perfect. Then we're going to do a little bit of scrunching with each one so that the flames will stand up on their own. Next, I do my orange in the same way, making big triangles. Each one is going to be scrunched. And lastly, I'll do my red paper in the same way. Big triangles and scrunching each piece after we've cut them. Now lay the red flames down, the orange ones go on top of that, and then your yellow ones. Once you have them all in a pile, or we'll roll them all up together, holding them at the bottom of the triangle with the pointy ends facing up. Squeeze them together at the bottom, and then we'll get a piece of masking tape and attach it around the bottom to keep them together. Now you can test your flames in the top of your Olympic torch. And if they fit, we can add a bit of glue around the bottom of our flames and press them in to the top of our torch. I found using the end of a pencil just to poke it in, make sure it's not gonna fall out, it was very handy. And there you have it your very own Olympic flame torch. Thank you so much, my amazing art students. I hope you had fun with this lesson.